In this video, I want to show you how you can edit a stitch file, such as a DST or an XXX or EXP file, with your Stitch and Sew program. Now this design, when it's read in, will be divided in by colors and anywhere that the digitizer previously put a trim code in. It's easy to just delete sections that you don't want if they are already divided up. Starting from the neutral mode, we simply click in the object list what we don't want. We can select multiple objects by holding down the control key on the keyboard and clicking additional items. If you do not want to select an item, simply while holding down the control key, click again and it will deselect it. Once selected, you can move, stretch, shrink, or click on the center and you can rotate. You can also delete. A more comprehensive approach would be if you want to select just these letters. This is a little more difficult because they're not separated in the object list. So if you click on the C, it gets the whole word. For this, we need to use stitch editing. So we click edit, stitch edit. Now, what we can do is we can split these two words or any part of a design apart from one another. For instance, let's say I wanted to put trim codes in between these letters. I simply, while in Stitch Edit, click on one of the stitches in the first letter. As you can see, the mouse picks it up. Click your right mouse key and it will release it. Using your right arrow key on the keyboard, go forward and find the stitch where it jumps over to the next letter right there. The left arrow key goes backwards, the right arrow key goes forward. When you find the stitch where you want it, click Split Block. As you can see now, these are two separate blocks. We can go through and continue to split these words apart using the same process. forgot to do this one. As you can see, the object list keeps building the new objects we're creating. Now if I want trims between these, I return to the neutral mode and I select all of these, right click, edit connection, trim always. And I didn't get this one. And now I have trims in between all those letters. I can then select individual letters, move them, delete them, do whatever I like with them. And that's how you stitch edit and stitch and sew.